Hello everyone, Rocky Senchi here. Today we're going to talk about The Last of Us first game, uh, the ending. We're going, to, we're going to talk about Joel's decision at the very end of the game. Before I give my review for The Last of Us Part 2, which should be coming soon, maybe next week. Uh, I finished the game already, but I haven't uh, finished uh, uploading all the parts yet, but I will soon. But before that, we're going to talk about the first the first ending. Uh, everything that led to the decision that Joel made at the end. When we start playing the game, we are playing as Joel for the majority of the game. I'm pretty sure I think it was 90 to 95% of the game we play as Joel. And throughout the game, you see him sort of evolving. Uh... Maybe not as a person, but his suffering is the one that is evolving. Because at the beginning of the game, the prologue, you meet his daughter, his uh, biological daughter, and we see what happens to her. We see that she dies at the beginning, and Joel is basically put into a, a not just a different world because the, the virus and everything has changed. Um, the world itself so now Joel has to deal with the loss of a daughter and the loss of humanity not just the world around him but his very own as he explains throughout the game there has been decision that he has made that doesn't make him the best person in the world or the best man in the world but some of the decisions probably we will understand if we would have been put in his shoes. So through throughout the game, we see him evolving, as I said, because he sees Ellie as a package that he has to deliver. So the story is Ellie is immune to the disease, to, to the virus that is um, affecting... Um, basically the entire world so she's immune to it so she has to if I'm mistaken the game starts in Boston and I know for a fact that they have to make it to Utah Salt Lake City so they travel basically the entire almost yeah the, yeah the entire the entire part of the of the United States throughout the game we see his relationship with Ellie how he sees her how he treats her and we see the glimpses of a future with her and that's a key part throughout the game that leads to his final decision we see a man that only saw Ellie as a package as I said before but throughout the game through all the their, I guess they're adventured from from one side of, of, of the coast to the other side of the, uh, well, uh, of the United States. We see them evolving, um, but the 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 best part of the of the, the story of the game is when he starts to talk about the future of teaching Ellie about playing the guitar, and I think that's the one that stands out. That's the thing that sounds extremely out in the second part which I will get to it in the in the review once I, I do it they are connected through through well it's to be very more specific they are connected through, through the love of a father to a daughter so Joe's decision at the end to save Ellie because in order for I guess for this um the surgery to be a success, more than likely Ellie was gonna die to save humanity. Even though that that surgery itself, even if it goes successful and Ellie dies, didn't it was it didn't mean that it was 100 percent sure that she was gonna save humanity. But Joel's decision at the end to save her is completely understandable. I saw some reviews um, from. Uh, even from I think IG, uh, IGN uh, reviewers, 
uh, the, the oh, um, w uh, worked or, or are working still with the company. I'm uh, criticizing Joe's decision to save one girl over the future of humanity. But if I was in his shoes, I pretty much would have done the same. You gotta understand that Joel would this would have been the second time that he, that he would have lost a, uh, his daughter. Now, of course, Ellie's not his blood uh, biological daughter, and, and I, I think we I think we all understand that. But you don't need to have your friends don't need to be your blood in order for you to consider brothers or sisters or anything like that. It, it's, it's all about how you feel inside. So. I completely understood Joel's decision and to, to save Ellie over the future of humanity. He didn't want to go through again losing his daughter once again. In the same lifetime, I don't think I don't, I don't, I don't think anyone, any any father would able to, to do that. Um well, Joe's decision would have been the same if his daughter was would, would have still been alive. I, I I don't. I think he would have picked to save humanity because saving humanity will also would have been saving his his daughter if she still would have been alive. But at this point, humanity as he knows it is is, is gone. Uh, just, all he has is memories of how things used to be. But how things are now, it, I remember. I remember first playing the game, and and even when you see other, um, like another show, like the, um, like um, Walking Dead or a great movie like The Road. If, if you haven't watched uh, The Road, is is um, it's a great movie. Um, Viggo Morganson from Lord of the Rings is is the main um, actor in the movie, the main character. So I mean, that's a great movie, and you realize watching that um like the show the walking dead and the road that that the most scary things in, in the world are, are humans are not uh the zombies even though there's no zombies in the road but those are the most scary parts is is the humans who are still alive still surviving because at the end of the day as joe uh, knows at the end of the day, we are all animals, and we, and we, you know, if we put in a situation where no civilization is established, we were all gonna do what's best to survive, regardless of how it will affect um, the person that you are trying to, to save, or the person that you are trying to to take something from. So Joe's decision is very understandable. Um, I think. We all will understand that sometimes the world itself is, of course, it's massive uh, blue marble. But no matter who you are, you just can't you just can't be affected by that because your world might just be just the one person that cares about you that you care for. So that's that that's your entire world. In this case, his entire world is Ellie. So understandable his decision that he made and how the decision um, will affect uh, the second part by now uh, we know how it affected um, him and ellie decision to to save the world oh, sorry the decision to save her over saving humanity but to anyone there that doesn't understand Joe's decision, is, um, I guess you have to be in his shoes, or at the very least be a parent yourself in order to understand that the life of a child, your child, whether it's blood or not, nothing holds more value and importance to that. So thank you for listening. Uh, this is the, again, this is the review of the, uh, the ending and how this review, how this ending affected uh, the, the Last of Us uh, Part Two. Rocky Senshi, out.